Hi, I am Denise Marie Papillo. Um, Applebaum is my maiden name, and I am a 1978 graduate of Parkway North High School. Um, I am honored to, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. We have so many amazing alumni, and they've done amazing things with their life, and um, to be among these distinguished people is just truly, truly an honor. Um, I went to Parkway from kindergarten through all the way through high school. I started at Ross Elementary with a kindergarten teacher named Mrs. Alexander, and she nurtured us and guided us with love and, and just really brought out our love for learning. Um, after that, I had a, a wonderful third grade teacher, Mrs. Beckemeyer, who at one time at a parent-teacher conference, she told my mom that if she ever had a little girl, she'd want her to be just like me. And that just stuck with me for the rest of my life. I mean, what an amazing thing to say to make a little girl feel special, you know. Um, then I had uh, the pleasure of having Miss Orr in our building. I didn't have her as a teacher, but she was just like a magical princess to all of the fourth graders in that class. And um, she too just ignited the love for learning. And one thing about Parkway that I, I just really attribute to is to helping kids to really develop their own unique strengths and their own unique talents and really educate, educating the whole child um, from um, physical education, doing ball bouncing, to nickeling, square dancing, to big plays and, and, and drama, theater kind of things where we did um, the dawning of the age of Aquarius and we had made macrame belts and art and, and tie-dyed shirts and made bell-bottom pants and um, everyone everyone had a, a spot there and all through my education that is just what keeps ringing true to me is that no matter what your strength was there was an avenue for you to develop it and um, I'm hoping, you know, that is what we strive to do in Parkway today because I'm an educator there and just to um, find new ways to tap kids' potential. And, um, you know, we have kids that are, are, we cannot put kids in a one size fits all mode. I mean, the kids just have so many, such a wide range of diverse talents and especially today with our more diverse population. Um, I just think it's so important that we provide avenues for kids to develop it based on their strengths. Um, for a long time, we, we looked at, at kids and their deficits and we worked from a deficit model. And to work from a strengths-based model is just so much more effective. And Parkway was really doing that, doing that. I mean, they, they were progressive. They were a lighthouse district back in the 70s. And I think we still do that today and we still look for new ways to do that. Um, my role as the educator as a, in education is a coordinator of gifted education and um, I work with some really exceptionally gifted students and there is really a big misconception out there that that's an elitist kind of uh, uh, programming model and those kids truly um, have some unique needs. Um, the characteristics and the, and the, the the stuff they have inside of them um, is just different than, than an average child. And um, I just think that if we really want to change the world, we have to nurture every single child and um, believe in every, that every child brings something to the table. Um, because our parents give, give us the best they have. They're not hiding, they're better ones at home. And so we, we, have, to, we have to do our best to educate them. Well, it really sounds like the variety that you received in Parkway through your education has brought you to your position now um, in helping to make sure that we do have that variety of education and opportunity for those students still in our district. What led you back to Parkway from, from your senior year and on? What, what brought you back to Parkway? Well, I, um, I began teaching um, years ago, and I was in Francis Howell School District, and um, I, uh, I always wanted to come back to Parkway. I did my student teaching at Barrett's Elementary with Margie Halley, who is actually now an instructor for my daughter in college. 
um, and I always wanted to come back to Parkway, but Parkway is a pretty uh, tough place to get into. They don't take just anybody. And so I, I went through, um, you know, the, the job fairs and things, and there wasn't the, the right uh, opening at the right time for me. So I um, got some experience at other places, but I always, always wanted to come back to Parkway. Um, I Parkway is just a part of who I am, and when the opportunity arose for me to become an assistant principal um, at Sorrento Springs, that's when I came back. Um, and the odd thing is, is that I interviewed for the assistant principalship at Ross Elementary, where I went to Ross, and while I was waiting for my interview, I was one of the three finalists, they put me in my kindergarten room and I sat in one of those little chairs and I, uh, I thought, oh my gosh, I've come full circle, <laughs> educationally speaking. So um, yeah, it's, it's my home, it's my home. Well, what, can you, what kind of advice can you share uh, with us for students who are currently in Parkway and are seeking to have successful careers and use their time in high school or at any level um, to the best of their ability? Um, my advice would be to dream big, believe big, think big, and big things will happen with a little dose of determination. Um, I think that kids need to believe in themselves first, and that is the foundation of why I am where I am at. Um, people along the way, my teachers, my administrators, my parents, my friends, and my siblings um, believed in my abilities. And I, so therefore, I believed in myself. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If your teacher believes in you, you will believe in yourself. Um, and there is no obstacle too big to overcome. That's wonderful. Well, do you have something you'd like to share with us? Um, well, I do have a, a poem. It's kind of long. It's kind of personal, but I, I, will, I will share it. It's called The Journey. An apprehensive five-year-old girl walks hesitantly and yet full of hope up the front steps of the big school building. Nervous yet with so much desire to discover herself in the world, her heart pitter-pattering, she notices the big American flag whipping in the wind on the flagpole, a subtle and kind invitation. New adult faces and children greet her with warm smiles and hellos. Come in, the flag waves, whispering, this is your school, Ross Elementary School. This is Parkway where you will learn and grow and play, where you will discover our great democracy, learn about your country and its rich and magnificent history, where you'll discover what it means to be proud and to be a part of something big. Part of your nation, part of your school, your community, your circle of friends and your classmates, where your teachers will love and guide you and you will paint, draw, sing, dance, do math, write stories and read books. Together in this place called Ross School, you will learn how you, yes you, fit into the world. You have begun your journey and on this road you will discover your uniqueness and how to be proud and shine as yourself. Gymnastics, ball bouncing, square dancing and tinickling, so many new ways to express yourself. Macrame belts, tie-dyed shirts, bell bottoms and the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Learning, discovering, expressing you, your individuality. Four square jump rope, hopscotch and tetherball, climbing trees after school, riding bikes, playing kick the can after dark. Swim team and play acting school in the summer, sledding in winter, and oh, those wonderful snow days. Finding your very first best friend for life and learning how to be one in return. Becoming, 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 learning, growing, knowing. The years go by and the story is unchanging. Opportunities to grow and discover how you fit in the world and how the world can be shaped by you continue to emerge in Parkway. North Junior, North Senior Parkway conceptual learning and application of knowledge, debates, dialogues, complicated equations, and difficult subjects, friendships evolving and growing, plays, vicats, football and basketball games, broken bones, car accidents, life lessons, broken hearts, cruising Creefcore Park, prom dates and homecoming parades, a tapestry of emotions and events, allowing you to become a whole person, you, a person who strives to do her very best, to be her very best self, and to appreciate others in this great big world. Life is unfolding, relationships and friendships are bound tightly and secure, precious, protected, unshakable forever. A unique blend of times and people, 
who have each added a special ingredient to shape who you are, to allow and encourage you to believe in yourself and to do your very best every day for this world, for this country, and for those who live in it, especially for the children. For as we know, it is your childhood, your family, your school days, and the people within your school that truly shapes a person for life. Thank you, Parkway, to my family and to all the people I have encountered on this journey for shaping my future and for allowing me to grow to be my very best self. I have and continue to be blessed.